Hello, 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 and welcome everybody. I'm Suzanne Runyon, and it is our Tuesday night crafting cuties get together. <laughs> Hi, everybody. How are you guys? I hope you are having. Oh, wait, look at my graphics. <laughs> <laughs> We're fooling around with a bunch of Oops. new stuff tonight, by the way. You're going to love this new camera. DeWitt has worked so hard. He's my producer. DeWitt, come out and say hello. Come on around here. Can you unplug? He's got so much. You look like you're in a hospital bed with a bunch of, like, IVs. Here he is. DeWitt, the producer. Yay, DeWitt. We love him. Anyway, he's been working his butt off, and uh, we have... A new camera angle tonight. I'm very excited about it. We just have to fix that graphic. We got little things we're working on. But hey, everybody. Uh, again, I'm Suzanne Runyon. Welcome to HSN Gets Crafty. What is this show all about? If you are brand new, I love you're here. And I love all my people who have been here for many, many years. Uh, all my crafting cuties. But this show is about being creative and celebrating creativity and sharing creativity. It's probably one of my favorite things I get to do here at HSN is spend this time with you. And it's because a lot of times on the year... We just have to move fast, and it can be very frustrating when you're trying to learn something. So what I love about Tuesday night is we get to, believe it or not, slow down, even though I still talk fast. I'm sorry. Uh, it's just how I was built. And um, we get to really take an in-depth look at kits. Now, most of the time on most Tuesdays, they're all brand new. In fact, they're purchased and brought in just for you and me for this show. So limited quantity. In this case, we're going to show you two items that have never been on the air, and then we have a couple items we've shown briefly, um, but I'm really excited because I love Crystal Art, I love Craft Buddy, I love what they bring us. Everybody's gone crazy over Crystal Art and Craft Buddy, and uh, Sarah's going to be joining me from England, and so God bless. Anybody who ever comes to England when they're on the air with us, I'm so pleased because it's like one in the morning for them, or 2 a.m., or something crazy like that. So it's very sweet of them to join us from England live, so Sarah will be with me. But we craft together, we have ideas together, and you guys are a huge part of that. This is what's big for me, is that I love all your comments. I try to get to as many as I can, um, and I love it because you guys make me laugh a lot, but also you share tips as well. Or, for example, have you done your crystal art, and maybe what pieces have you done? I'd love to share that with Sarah. Or if you comment on something, like, boy, you really like that new kid, we'd love to hear that. So I'm so thrilled you're here tonight. We've got a lot to get to. What I do just for the first few minutes is I do shout outs only because we've got a whole bunch of people coming online with us and I want to wait to get into the meat of everything until we get more people on. So I'll do some shout outs. I always go to the very top and Patty, you were the first one on today. Patty says, hi from Iowa, sunny Iowa. We have Lori joining us from Robert Lee, Texas. Lori's been with us a long time because I will never forget Robert Lee, Texas. We have Carletta. Carletta's also been watching us for a long time. Uh, she says, hello, Suzanne and DeWitt from Arkansas. Debbie, she says, hi, crafting cuties from Beaver in Oregon. Yeah, Debbie's been with us for a while as well. Desiree, hi Suzanne and fellow crafting cuties from Pittsburgh. Hi Desiree. Oh, by the way, if you are brand new to the show, please type first timer. Also, oh, I got a shout out to YouTube. Last week we had hundreds of people join us on YouTube Live. So hi YouTube Livers. Now we are monitoring YouTube and so I will shout out to you over on YouTube as well. Um, so we're watching that. So um, I will try to shout out to you guys too. All right, we have Desiree talked about. Dorothy's joining us from Central, Central Pennsylvania. Deborah's from Eatontown, New Jersey. Hello. Mary Ann's joining us from Leonaville, Michigan. No, no, it's not Leona. It's Livonia, Livonia, Michigan. I got it right because I go to Michigan a lot. Actually, we have a little place up in Michigan, believe it or not. Jennifer's joining us from Tennessee. I love Tennessee. Wanda's from Lancaster, PA. Myrna, now Myrna's been with us, I think, from the beginning, like going on four years now. Myrna, hi girl. She's joining us from Orlando, Florida. Stacy from New Mexico. Ro is joining us from Delaware. Wonderful. Wilma says, good evening. Teresa says, hello from Berlin, Ohio. I know where Berlin, Ohio is. I'm a Buckeye. Go Buckeyes. Okay, I love my Buckeye people. Doris is joining us from North Carolina. Uh, Marilyn's joining us from Central New Jersey. Jennifer says, hi to it. So he says hi back. Kelly says hello from Nebraska. Janet, hi Suzanne and Crafting Cuties from Rainy, Marietta, Georgia. Uh, we also have um, Kathy joining us. She says hello Suzanne and DeWitt. Looking forward to your show tonight uh, from Southern Florida. Linda says hi from Folsom, California. Feels like so long since I've seen you all. It does feel funny, doesn't it? But are, weren't we on last week? Last week. Right, we were just on. I swear, I with you. I was going, when was the last time we did this? And I felt like it was like a month ago, but believe it or not, we've been on a, two weeks in a row, which is pretty exciting. All right, uh, Linda says hi, DeWitt. Myrna says hello, DeWitt. And Jess, oh, yeah, Jessica, she's part of our Facebook team. And so she's wonderful. And she's on with us every Tuesday night as well. We need to get like a Jessica camera. 
She'd probably die. <laughs> I'm not sure she'd love that. Right, right. Yeah, she'd be like, no, no, Suzanne, we're not going to do that. No one ever gets to see Jessica. I never see Jessica, so it's pretty funny. Uh, all right, Kathy's joining us from Las Vegas. Sharon says hello from Ohio. Another Buckeye, hi. We have Carol joining us from uh, Plantation, Florida. Carletta says hello, Jess. Oh, Jess, you're getting all the shout outs today. Jessica's joining us from Southern Illinois. Linda from California. Julie joining us from Sarasota, Florida. She says hi, Crafton Cuties. Curly Sue, I love Curly Sue's name. Hello, everyone from SoCal. I love my California crafters. We have Carletta says, hi, Jessica. Jessica, you're getting a ton of shout outs tonight. We have Sue from Wisconsin. Uh, Joy's in the house. She says, hi, Suzanne DeWitt. Hi, Crafting Cuties from Riverdale, Nor uh, New York. Uh, Linda says, Sarah is on. Yay. Cora is joining us. Uh, we have Amy in Maine. Uh, Ada is in Illinois. Hello. Dorothy says, I love craft... I love Craft Buddy Crystal Art. You know, Dorothy, I'd love to know what kind of projects have you done. I'm actually going to feature one because somebody posted one of theirs from a recent um, craft day that they bought it. We have Carol from Clinton, North Carolina. Karen from Las Cruces, New Mexico. Hi. We have Lisa. Good evening from Minnesota. Mary's joining us from Shelby Township, Michigan. I love that specific Shelby Township. Uh, Deborah, love your readers. Thank you. Aren't they kind of fun? I, I, you know how it is. You end up buying all these cheap readers from wherever you can find them, right? Because you lose them, you break them. But these are my, I leave these in the studio just because I think these are really fun. Amy's a first timer. Amy, hi. Melissa's joining us from Murphy, North Carolina. We have Connie. Hi, Suzanne. Do good to get on in Las Vegas. Vegas, baby. Uh, Crafty Gal's joining us from Connecticut. Julie from Las Vegas as well. Look at that. We have Lynn. She's a first timer. Sandy's a first timer. Hi, y'all. All right. We have Donna Lane. She says hello from Boynton Beach, Florida. These are my YouTubers. Excited to see Craft Buddy tonight. Uh, Kathleen says uh, hello from Florida. We have Yvonne joining us. She says hello, Suzanne, from Central California. My gosh, we're going coast to coast today. I love this. This is so fun. All right. Kathy says hi, Suzanne and DeWitt. I really look forward to Crafting Tuesdays with you. Thank you, Kathy. I love being here. I, it's Like I said, it's one of my highlights of what I get to do at HSN. Linda from PA. Ka uh, Katrina from says hi. Uh, Maria says hello from Illinois. Can't wait for your show tonight. Thank you. Our Margaret's from Montana. How awesome is that? Montana's beautiful. Sandy's from Ohio. Sandy Myrna's. Yes, the first show. Um, we have Chris. Hi from Indiana. Mary James. It's Marianne, but second timer. Well, welcome back. I'm glad you joined us again. We have Katrina says, hello, fellow crafting cuties from Mississippi. Luann's Idaho. Heather's from Virginia. We have Donna from Louisiana. Jocelyn's joining us. First time catching the live show. Hello from Rhode Island. That's awesome. Welcome. I'm so excited. Uh, Bonnie from Arkansas. Roxanne's joining us from Oregon. Uh, Carmen's joining us from California. Rose says, ready to shop and save via the app. Oh, good. I'm glad. You got a coupon floating in there? Uh, Pam's joining us from Illinois. Barbara's joining us from State College, PA. Barbara, I probably said this last time. I lived in State College. My very first job out of college working for the PBS station at Penn State. I love State College. If you ever get a chance to go there, it's one of the most beautiful little towns you will ever visit. And the campus is spectacular. Maybe go up for a game if you can. It's very, very fun. It's, one, it's just a safe, wonderful, middle of nowhere place. And I loved being there. I was actually there for a couple of good well, three, four years. All right. Wait a minute. We have Katie from Alaska. <gasps> That's so cool. Hi. Stay warm. <laughs> I'm sure it's still pretty chilly in Alaska. You know, I watch all those shows. You know, what's the one where, uh, alone, no, alone, what is it? Where they put the 10 people out in different parts of Alaska and they've got to survive on their own. They're, they shoot their own footage. Gosh, all right, you'll know, Katie. You're from Alaska. Oh, like scared and alone or something no, like that? No, it's not. No, they're not naked. And, no, they're not naked and alone. They're just, um, shoot, somebody tell me. I love that show. I'm obsessed with it. Naked and afraid is what, no, I naked said scared, by the way. So where your mind went. Because you know the one where they're naked? Yes. You, I yes. don't know. What's this like? I can't even watch. I don't care if they blur it out. I just am so schemed by it. And sitting around on rocks with your just buns hanging out. I just, <laughs> I can't do it. I just like, whoa, you know. And they put that little... Merce they wear bugs, over there. Do what? Bugs. But, oh, I know bugs. Oh, I just can't do it. The people who do it, I'm like, God bless them. But no, you never see me do that. All right, so I got to keep going. Should I jump in? I don't want to go too much longer. Are we okay? Yeah, do I need to jump in? One more minute. Okay, one more minute, guys. Um, Angela, first timer. Hey, Doris is here. Deborah is here. Uh, Jacqueline's from Colorado. Dorothy, I have so many things from Craft Buddy. Latest did tissue box and tumbler. That tumbler. 
Hold the presses if you guys did not see the tumbler. And did anybody get the key hook? That was one of my most recent favorites we did on craft day. So good. I love that tumbler. That I love that tumbler. Uh, Patricia, I don't even know if we have, we may, maybe it be Jessica, you could check to see if there's any tumblers in stock. We'll check you guys. Patricia from Staten Island. Hey, Mary's joining us from Washington. Tina's from Missouri, Cape Girardeau. We have Paris joining us from Tennessee. Kim from Maine. Alicia joining us from Maryland. Donna from New Jersey. Marcia is joining us from Akron, Ohio. Another Buckeye. Kimberly says hi to Mary. I love it. You guys know each other. Uh, we have Joanne. Hello from Indiana. Jennifer, love, love, love craft buddy crystal art. If you guys haven't seen it, you need zero skills to look like you got skills. Okay, let me just tease you. Look how cute this is. Storage box coming up. Yes, can you imagine? You need no talent to make this happen. Zero. If you got some fingers and some eyeballs, you're good to go. That's all, that's all the requirements are. Seriously. It's, it, it's so funny being the spaz that I am. And I was working on, you'll see a finished project and I'm working on one of these. And I had on like Zen music at the same time. And really, honest to goodness, it's almost like a meditative, zen, prayerful moment to do this art. It goes way beyond easy and making really pretty stuff. It's just crazy. I understand now why it is the buzz in the crafting world. And non-crafters are loving it. Kids are doing it, too. We'll get into all that in just a second. But it's just the best, so I love it. Kim, first-timer from South Dakota. Hello. And we have Lulu from Palm Harbor, Ohio. We do have the Tumblr. Yes. Okay, if you haven't seen the Tumblr from Craft Buddy, it's 865 865 It's 1695 four, 451. There's two. Oh, or 854 you did them in different font sizes. That's throwing me. Craft Buddy Crystal Art Summer Fruit Drink Tumbler. Oh, that's one with the lemon, I think. Okay, it's 865451. They're both $16.95. No lie. It's like a it's like one of those thermos tumblers. Love, 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 love. So go check that out. Throw it in your cart. All right, we've got uh, Barbara. Thanks. I love State College also. I bet you do. Uh, Julie, what's Dewitt wearing? You want to come back out to it and well, show your outfit? Yeah, we'll do a quick one. You got a quickie. Got a quickie. <laughs> You got like an a animal print. Look at that. Ah! <laughs> Is he too adorable? He's got like, you, should, you know you should really do your own, your own TikTok thing of just your outfits. I think I should. You, you totally should do that. You know that? All right. Uh, Leo, Stephanie says hi. Beth says hi. Uh, Deborah says hi. My fave show. Thanks, Deborah. I love that. Carol says, I broke my right hand and couldn't make cards, but I could do my beautiful rabbit craft buddy kit left-handed. I uh, It's absolutely beautiful kit from St. Joseph, Michigan. I love that. Oh, Janet says, it's naked and afraid. That's what it is. Watched it a few times, not impressed. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I, I can't, but thank you for helping us. All right, Jean's here. Sonia's Sonal Sonal. Oh, I don't. I hope I said that right from Tampa. I know I got to go. I'm getting the finger, guys. Uh, Barbara's first time. Hi, Barbara. Patty says, my eight-year-old grandson, craft buddy, crystal art fan. He is good at it and so patient. Oh, I think it's great for kids, too. I do, especially if you got like a spazzy kid like I was. This is something just to be like, let's everybody calm down because it's so good. Um, Julie said his wild side. Oh, that's funny. Do what she's calling your outfit the wild side. All right, here we go. Oh, and thank you, HSN and Jessica, for putting up the Tumblr item numbers. Okay, here's how you shop. Number one, right there. The use keeps moving on me. Um, this is how you go to HSN Gets Crafty. Uh, you you could just get, open up your phone, open up your camera, walk up to it. It's going to turn to a yellow box or it's going to be a link and you hit it. You go right to the kit we're selling and you buy it really fast. And I don't want you to miss out because we do have items sell out. The other way is obviously you can go online too, but we make it really easy using your phone. Uh, the, and then also you're going to be able to shop if you're looking at the comments down below on Facebook. You'll have a link where you'll be able to shop there. Jessica will be putting that up in just a second. All right, let's jump into the next part. Okay, so our uh, HSN Gets Crafty with Suzanne Facebook page is growing by leaps and bounds. We almost are up to 24,000 group members, which is super cool. If you're not a member, love you to join us. It's such a neat group, and I get so inspired by what you guys post. And it's a way for all of us to share together. I like and love a lot. I don't get to comment a lot because there's so many people posting, but I try my best to at least like and love your stuff. Um, and what I do is if I see something I find intriguing, I will... Uh, choose it each week and we're going to show you what I thought was really cool that I saw it over the last week. So I do look, I'm on there actually quite often. So here we go. Number one, we have Kay Diana and she did this. Now everybody take a moment. This is just so cool. I like, I can't get over it. It's a pop-up grand piano recital card. Now 
I'm not sure where she got the template or whatever, how she did it, but that background, she created a shadow in black. So, because I, I kept thinking, well, that should be open back there. But I just was mesmerized by this idea. So I decided to show you guys and share it because I loved it and I think you do too. Okay, Carletta. Now she, this is Crap Buddy and I picked it because this is something we had on the air not too long ago. Carletta that turned out awesome. I love it and I love showing products that you guys get at home. I asked everybody, hey, if you get anything, anything from our craft days, I'd love to see you make it and see what it looks like. So Carletta, great job on that. It turned out absolutely beautiful. That is a gorgeous cross. Carol, she said, my granddaughter and I made this from a kit purchase during craft day. Isn't this cute? She's eight and loves this art form. It really holds her attention. And again, that's from our friends at Craft Buddy. And that is our crystal art. That's three-dimensional. It's fabulous. And I just wanted to show everybody how cool that is. So amazing, right? At least I believe that is. I think it's crystal art. Uh, okay, so another one we have. This is Tom. I love our guy crafters too. I love everybody. This one, I needed to make something colorful today. Mariposa layering stencils and 3D embossing folders from Lisa Horton's exclusives on HSN. Inks are all Lisa's, as is the sentiment from the Happy Vibes stamp set. The reason I popped this one up is um, Lisa does really, really great dimensional embossing folders and literally doesn't look like those butterflies have so, like, they literally look like they're floating off of the card. So I just wanted to feature that one because I thought it was great. Now we have Nicole. Nicole, she said, I created these cards using Diamond Press, Spring Bloom Stamp and Die Set from March's HSN show. I stamped and die cut and colored. And I love this because we were, I love this kit because it's wellies. Well, I guess that's what, that's what Sarah would tell us, tell us over in England, they call them wellies. But you know, the rubber rain boots are so cute. And I like how she stayed in the same kind of color palette, but she was able to do so many different looks, really not using a whole lot of other colors or other papers. She just sort of stuck in that one palette. And I think that's a good tip when you're trying to make a lot of cards at once, you know, pick a palette and just kind of rearrange it to get different looks. So great job, Nicole. Thank you so much for posting that. All right, Erica, I made a simple card, which I thought this was funny because I didn't think it was simple. <laughs> I was like, girl, that is a fabulous card. I made a simple card from the new EE Enhanced Ocean Collection. I love seeing all your makes. Thank you uh, for sharing them, everybody. Happy crafting. I just loved it. I love the mermaid. I love the shells on the side. You're simply mermazing, which is so cute. And this is from Crafter's Companion. I love how she did the silhouette of the mermaid in black and just used color paper behind her. Just sensational. Then the background looks amazing. So that's from Can uh, Crafter's Companion, and it's called Enhanced Ocean. I do not know if we have it in stock. If uh, Jess and everybody gets a chance, we might see if we still have it. All right, so thank you guys for posting. Hey, if you post as well, I might pick yours to go online with us too, which would be really, really fun. All right, some call outs. We got a lot of news for you. Crafting event, Monday, April 15th. We are doing something we've never done before. We're going to do three hours with a live audience. There are some of you online right now who are actually going to be in the studio with me. And Rebecca, or one of our, actually our brand new host, she's going to be joining me. We're so excited about this. Those of you who are going to travel to be in our guest audience, you're going to go crazy. I was just on a call not two hours ago, and they were telling me all the cool things that were happening. And those of you who are coming in, you're going to be like, oh my gosh. And plans are to do it again. So next time we ask, we have some people actually flying in for this too, which I, beyond, Dwight's uh, joining us and he's going to be crafting away. Yes, I am. I can't wait. <laughs> I know. I'm so excited. Anyway, it's going to be a blast. I'm so excited. And the shows that are going to go live with the audience are uh, on the 15th. This is all East Coast time, six through nine. I'll actually be launching that day. It is something you guys have been asking for forever. Anna Griffin has done a scrapbooking kit. And there's a couple of choices and they're jammed pack. And of course, they're going to be gorgeous. But we've had so many of you. And for those of you who have never done scrapbooking, but you want to get into it, I think you're going to love her kit. But that'll be at midnight. Then we'll be back 6 to 9 with our live event. Then, believe it or not, at 9.30, we're still going to do our Facebook Live. No, I'm sorry. On, that's, two, that's Monday. See, we usually do craft days on Tuesdays. But remember, it's on Monday. Guys, I'll post on our Facebook group page as well to keep you all posted of what's happening. All right, then finally, um, also from Sunday night till Tuesday, this is a big deal, $7.50 for three days to fill your entire crafting cart. That's all you'll spend on shipping. I know my crafting cuties love that. I do too. I take advantage of it. So that's going to happen as well. All right, got it? And then we'll be on Facebook Live next Tuesday back at 8 p.m. All right, that's our announcements for now. 
Okay, thanks everybody for hanging in there. Let's get into our first kit. And again, this is crystal art by our friends at Craft Buddy. Ta-da, let's look at the first kit. We've got uh, four things we're gonna talk about today. This one has never ever been on the air, so it's the first time you're seeing it. I am crazed about this one. It's key change, you're gonna make, and they're just, they're, all their elements are such great quality, everything is so well made, and this is that you need no talent, but it looks like you've got tons of talent, crystal art, love, love, love. In this kit, and I know Sarah's gonna go over it, you're getting two, four, six, eight keychains, all the embellishments, all the crystal art pieces you need. You're also getting your tray, your little tool, you're getting instructions with it, and of course your little waxy thing. You'll see how this works in just a second. It's a fabulous kit, eight gifts. I kept thinking, oh my gosh, if you got kids or grandkids coming for the summertime and you wanna keep them busy, fabulous thing to do. I think it'd be really cute for a little girl's birthday party. I was thinking about doing this. I always see my besties from Ohio when I grew up every summer, we go away for a weekend. I think I'm taking this kit and having everybody make their own while we're together, which I think would be really, really cool. So let's jump into it and I've got to get Sarah on with us. Sarah's been with Craft Buddy for many years, actually knew about him for a very long time and for many years actually has been working very closely with them and she always comes on the air with us. I love her so much. I love her even more because it is what time they're Sarah in England? Uh, it's now 20 past one in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I love her even more because it is wee early hours. So thank you. We always love having you, whether it's on the air or on this show. And boy, I love our kits today. It's so amazing. And thank you so much for having me. And like you were saying, Suzanne, it's so nice because sometimes we have to really quickly go through things when we're on air. And this just gives us a chance to show you a little bit more in depth. I'm going to be demonstrating the sealer for you as well. We haven't been able to do that on air before. So thank you for having me. Oh, are you there? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Should I just crack on? Me? Yes, sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, you cut my mic out for a second. Right. Um, yes, I'm here. Okay. okay. So can I ask you a question, though? Let's talk to yes. absolutely the beginner, because anybody can do this. You need zero talent to actually look like you actually have a whole lot of talent. I loved your analogy as well. If you've got eyeballs and fingers, you can do crystal art. I'm going to ins insist they add that to the packaging. That can be on the instructions. So <laughs> That would be it's, fun. It's really true. You get absolutely everything that you need. So if you think of it like painting by numbers, and this is a really lovely set because it's effectively painting by numbers, but we're adding crystals on. So everything has a template already there for you. So you've got all of your letters or numbers. What's really nice about these is that they're also double-sided. So although you've got eight projects, you can do that twice over and you don't have to sit and do them all in one go. So it's a really nice little bite-sized project. Um, there's also really different sizes in here as well. They're about eight by eight centimeters. But as you can see with the mandala ones, they're really great. So think of like your zip pulls for some of your bags. You can of course use them as keychains because we also have not only the um, uh, loop to go onto any of your chains, but you've got the key ring holder on there as well. So this could be functional and that's where the crystal art sealer is gonna come into play. So just going back to how simple it is, everything, if you type in Craft Buddy onto the HSN website, you're gonna see so many projects and it's all the same technique. So you just pick your favorite design. So it all comes with a protective layer over the top and the glue is already on the surface as well. And this is why so many of our followers and our customers use this with their grandkids, with their nieces, nephews, because it, it's mess free. You don't need to have a you know craft room full of stock and stash and machinery and everything else. You can quite literally open the box and get crafting straight away. Now your pen is included as well. This is the only tool you need. You've got a hollow drum in the tip of the pen and a wider nib on the reverse side. And that's really important because some of these crystals are huge. So that's gonna help you pick those up. Now you'll get the gel in the pack as well. So the first time you're gonna use it, we're gonna open up just peeling back that protective bit of plastic over the top. We're gonna cut out an entire section. So just dipping that pen in there. You can do the same on the reverse side as well. So this will actually pick up, like I said, three crystals all in one go or some of your bigger ones as well. Now, everything comes bagged and labeled and there are some amazing crystals in here. So we've got two wow. different types. You've got like the opaque crystals. Now we call them crystal, but they're resin. So they're super lightweight. 
but every single one is faceted 15 times. So the two different types that we have in our kits are the opaque resin, and then we've got the rhinestones, and they're silver backed with a transparent resin over the top, so that's extra bling. And they're all labeled as per your template. So for example, this one is letter D. I'm just gonna decant some of these into my tray. Now you get your tray as well. And this has specifically engineered grooves along the tray. So if we give that a little wiggle, what you'll see is that the crystals then sit flat side down, fasted side up, so they're ready to work with. So we're just gonna peel this back and don't take it off entirely, because if you're doing bigger projects like some of our canvases or the storage boxes, you can use this like a little protector because the glue is already on there. You don't want to get any paper stuck to it or you don't want to get it dirty. And then you can see a nice little light tap of the crystal and that's going to stick straight onto the glue. Now, you don't need to push very hard because you want to prolong the gel in the pen. So the harder you push down, of course, the more condensed down that gel is going to get. But I'll show you how to reapply it as well. You get the whole block so you can just keep on going with it. And you can see that I'm just removing that protective layer as I go. So I'm just working all the way around. Now, you will also get some bags. That's for your leftover crystals. So for example, D in this little butterfly, of course, I've got that beautiful silver rhinestone. I might not then use that until I get onto my third or fourth keychain. So we're gonna bag those up and keep those good. We also give you one and a half times the amount of crystals that you actually need. So if you spill any, you drop any, it doesn't mean you can't complete your project. What that does mean is that you get flat back gems that are then essentially free because it's surplus to your project. And we've even designed crystal art stamps and we've still got some available on the website so that you can then be in charge of your own color palette as well. But well look at how quick. Um, you, you know what, Sarah, can I, can I ask you a real quick question? Of course. Because you do, you do have a ton of leftover, which is great. What is the liquid that you use with the stamps that allow you to kind of create your own design but give you the sticky bottom? So magic glue will replicate this permanently sticky surface. Okay, so, so magic we're gonna talk, glue. Just, just to know, we're gonna talk about the sealer that's different than the magic glue. So if you wanna use your yeah, leftover so, and say, do the back of your phone, you're gonna order the magic glue, which we'll have to double check to see if that's online too. Because when I got done with my very first project, I'm like, oh, there's a lot of those colors left. And I was like, oh, I definitely <laughs> wanna do this some, on some random surfaces. I'm like, I need something oh else. Goodness. It's called magic glue, you guys. <laughs> Yes, so magic glue will replicate that surface. Now, there is a downside and a plus side, depending on the project that you're gonna be working on for using lots of different things. So magic glue will replicate this surface. And what's so good about this is that it never dries. It will permanently stay sticky. So for example, if you bought this set and you've got eight of your crystal art projects, and actually you only get to sit down and do half of them, even if you didn't come back to that kit for six months, that glue is still going to be tacky and ready for you to use. So what it does also mean is that if you go in the wrong place or you go out of the lines, so for example, if I hold this up for you, you can see that you have a circular template for every crystal to sit into. Now, if you miss it, I don't know, maybe have a bit of a hand wobble, maybe the kids are doing it and they can't quite get it on, on um, the right target, you've got maneuverability. So you can then nudge those into place and that has its plus points, of course, when you're making it. The downside to that is that if you've then got something that's gonna be handled a lot, so for example, your keychains, maybe it's going to be, you know, if you have like really small zips on like a makeup bag or a wash bag, sometimes it's really hard to get the strength in your hand to pull those. If you've got a bigger pull like these, you can clip that onto that zip and you've got something more substantial to hold on to. But because you're going to be handling and using it a lot and that glue never dries, can you see that if they get nudged, they actually move and you can even pull them off. So what the sealer will do, and once I've got into this for you, I'm going to show you exactly how to use that. The sealer is going to cement it into place. So the magic glue is great for things like your cards, um, for replicating that sticky surface. I don't know, maybe you spill your water on your crystal art project and then you need to reapply that glue. That's going to be great for that. 
and your sealer is going to give it that longevity and it's really going to cement them into place. So there's two different things that you could use. But for example, you know, if you wanted to use like your leftover rhinestones to maybe embellish, maybe like the peak of a baseball cap, or if you were going to do some on a t-shirt or a top, if you've got fabric glue, that's going to work well with it too. So there's lots of different oh. mediums that you can work with that you're then essentially using all of your leftover gems. And you can okay. see how quickly these come together. And I just want to mention too, now, here's two tips that I discovered. Hang on, Sarah, one second. Two tips that I discovered yeah, yeah. while I was doing this was um, have a little pair of scissors with you and have a yep. little marker with you. Uh, because they also give you, as she mentioned, all the little baggies. Because once you open it up, you're not going to put it back into these things, okay? That's just almost impossible. No, that's it. <laughs> so they give you all these little cute little Ziploc baggies, right? So what happens is when I was getting ready, I jumped into it without, you know, just jump. I jump all in. I was like, oh, no. You so make sure you just have, this is all the extra that you need is this and this. And I would highly recommend the crystal sealer um, because, and we'll give you the item number on that in just a second, because this is going to go. Can we show my picture of my... Um, um, my kind of thing. I have collected um, gifts that people give me. It's a lot of keychains and kind of tchotchke stuff. And there it is, Sarah. There it is on my tennis bag. Oh, That's where no. it's going to live. It looks there it is. And yeah, that's funny. There's a little donut actually sneaking out beside it, looking around to see what it is. But anyway, that's my tennis <laughs> bag at home, and that's where this is going to reside. So I already have used the crystal art sealer on it, only because, you know, obviously I bang my tennis bag around. So I'm super, super thrilled about that. But a little tip there you just need these two. Get, grab these two things before you get started because you definitely want to keep track of all the letters that are associated with all the different crystals when you do that. So, sorry, Sarah, I just wanted yeah. to give that little tip to everybody. No. Absolutely brilliant top tip. What I also do is I fold over the bag that it came in. So just as you were talking, you saw me doing it. I fold it over and I keep it in the Ziploc bag because if you haven't finished a project, you'll also notice on the bags that we always have the product code because the crystals themselves are project specific. So for example, letter E in this keychain set isn't going to be the same as letter E in the calendar kit that I've got oh, coming up for you. Got so it. That will also keep you organized if you're not going to do it all in one sitting. Now, um, top tip, and then I'm going to show you how to seal everything. Your wider end of your pen is going to pick up your, uh, either three crystals in one row. So if you've got like linear projects and you've got a whole row of them, that will really help with that. I'll do that for you in a minute. Um, but it also really helps when you've got shapes like these. So I've got like a gorgeous, bigger crystal here, ready to put on my butterfly. And so that I can really maneuver it, I can just roll the pen around in my finger and make sure that I'm getting it exactly on the right place in my template. Now, the good thing is as well, because you've got that glue that doesn't ever dry, if you go out of the lines, you can push that in. Now, I said about not using a lot of pressure because I want to condense. I don't want to condense down the gel in that pen. So I'm going to put the protective layer back over and then I'm going to push down really well. Lots of people also use like a brayer or a roller. Oh, you could go enough. over it with that as well. Uh, like for your bigger projects, if you've got things like the storage boxes, that's going to work well. If your pen starts to lose stickiness, you don't have to cut out an entire section every time. So what we'll do is just slightly scrape a top layer. So this gel should be lasting you a long time. You can see I've only got like a little indent in that top layer. Just scrape it off. And then what I do is I just roll it on my finger because that will also get rid of any of the gel around the outside. You can push that back in the, um, in the uh, gel block as well and that will keep that for you. And then that way, it's going to keep on adding and reapplying that gel. But you can see it comes together incredibly quickly. Okay, so the sealer, and then I'll show you all of the finished projects because there's so many designs in it. In fact, I'm going to show you the finished ones first. You've got the amazing <laughs> butterflies. There's two different designs in there. Gorgeous blue one, and then your lovely pink. We've also got two of the smaller mandalas. And these are really lovely, gorgeous color palettes as well. So these could be gifts. You could be using them on gift wrapping and things like that as a detachable gift. If you're a card maker, how about having it hanging in an aperture of a card and having it as a detachable gift 
for the recipient as well, which will be gorgeous. But again, you can also use them as zip pulls. You can use them as keychains, And it's those functional pieces. These actually, we've even had customers use some of our keychains as like Christmas tree decorations. Oh, so you great could, idea. You can use them for anything you like. So you've got the ball and chain that you'll attach on once you're finished. Then you've got your keychain, and then you've got the handbag charm as well, which is that extra large lobster claw clasp. So super easy to work with. But if it's going to be used a lot, we need to add in the sealer. So I'm going to show you how easy that is to use. So finished project here. You can see I've got all my crystals in place. I've done both sides as well. Now the sealer we have on the website, I've got a bit of a bigger pot here. I've got a 400 mil, but we do 150 mil. Now you can work straight from the pot. That's the one. Now and it's your a lot. sealer, it's just it's a ton. Th there's so much, there's so much. Your 150 mil, um, that would co cover, I would say three to four of our extra large canvases. Um, so if you're gonna be using it wow. for smaller projects like this, my goodness, it's gonna last you years. I've had mine for absolutely years. Now, um, I work straight from the pot. Some people like to dilute it down sometimes, that's entirely up to you. If you find that you've used it for a project and then you come back to it a few weeks later and you can't get the lid off, just run it under some lukewarm water, like tepid water from the tap. And what that will do is break the seal. It's just where you've got some around the pot. Some people also, also like to put like a cling wrap over the top of it. You can That's also good, make yeah. sure that you keep that clean, but that will ever, if your lid ever gets stuck, that's gonna break that off as well. So straight from the pot. Now, the way that I can relate this for absolutely everybody to make it really nice and simple is like your grouting tiles. What this is going to do is act as a cement for these crystals. So I'm just using quite a fine paintbrush. If you're going to use a bigger, if you're going to do a bigger project, like I'm going to show you some of our bigger artwork on the calendar, something like your canvases or um, your storage boxes that we've been showing, then you can use a bigger paintbrush, but I would also break it down into smaller sections. So like, I'm just gonna do half of this butterfly first of all. It goes on white, so you might be thinking, oh my goodness, all that sparkle's gone, you're ruining the project. We're gonna gain all of that back, but I need to know that I've got coverage around all of it. So I'm just using the brush to bring that around. Now it will dry completely clear. We say 24 hours to leave it before you start using it, but you'll find that within even 20 minutes, yes. it's going to start Great. going clear. Yeah. So that's why I suggest with your bigger projects, you break it down into like a few inch squares. And that way you can keep an eye on where you've been because the really important thing is once you've covered that project, and I pay particular attention to the areas that are more vulnerable. So these outside pieces, if this is going to go on my bag and this is going to get bashed, I want to make sure that those outside ones are really well protected because they're the ones that are going to take like the full brunt of anything bashing into it. Then you can also take any of that excess, just work it down the project, pull it over. And it doesn't have to be a specific paintbrush. You can use any paintbrush. It is water soluble. So if you just put some hot water in a little mug, that will then dissolve that even if you've even if it's completely hardened that's then going to bring that paintbrush back and you'll be able to use it again for painting. It's not gonna ruin it. Now, the really important bit, what we're gonna do is just take a little wet wipe. So I've got like a baby wipe. You can use a cloth, but it can't have any lint in it. So you don't want like a microfiber cloth or a cleaning cloth or a tissue. So I've just got like a wet wipe. And what I'm going to do is ball this up so that I've got like a flat surface. So you could wrap it around your finger so that you can then really go into it and have that control. Or I like to just ball it up so that I've got something to hold on to and a flat surface so that I don't pull any of those crystals off. And I'm just going to wipe off the excess from on top of my crystals. Now, if you don't do this, the sealer can dull down some of that sparkle because of course it's gonna sit in the facets of your crystals. So once you've wiped the excess off, I just like to make sure that I've got it really nice and clean. So I'll use a different part of my cloth 
and just clean that up. If you've got anything that has lint in it, so like if you're using something like a tissue or something like that, you're gonna end up with little fluff <clears throat> in your sealer, which of course we don't want. No and then I'm just gonna sealer. take my, no fluff in the sealer. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm just gonna pop that on my finger and I'm just gonna use my nail to run around the outside edge so that I've got a really clean finish. And it's worth doing because you've just spent, you know, maybe the last 25 minutes doing like a little project like this. You want to give it that longevity. This will now last for years and you won't lose any of those crystals. So once it dries clear, you're also not going to know it's on there. You can see that the crystals are sparkling just as much as the other side, but it's going to be cemented on there. So you're not going to lose any, which is really important when you've got something that's functional like this and that's really as simple as crystal art is but like you said if you can hold a pen you can create any of our projects because it's that lovely repeat motion adding those crystals on just having and i love that you said it was like mindful meditation so yes. many of our customers use it like as a secondary hobby so maybe you're doing things like making your cards all day maybe you've got other projects on the go like following crochet patterns or knitting and really it's quite intense on your mind when it then comes to switching off you can sit down you can do this with the tv on you can do it in a sociable setting you can be listening to music and it just really helps you switch off which is for me an absolute godsend come the end of the day when you just want to relax but you still want to be productive with your time as well it's a really nice way of being able to do that and okay i want to go through just real quick and i'm going to grab some comments while you uh continue yeah. on so here we go sure. um oh um linda says hello from tennessee i love craft buddy i've done several of their products colleen says love 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 uh Car uh clardon i hope i said it right clardon hello from arizona i've finally been able to catch you live even if i'm late well i'm glad you're here that's what counts janice says hi sarah i got craft buddies parrot paradise through hsn a couple of weeks ago because i have parrots i love it janet says that's how <laughs> i store them so she was recommending your uh, technique on that carol says oh yeah. thank you for the shout out for me and my granddaughter age eight i'm here visiting her in reno she says i have the keychains too and this is another project for us we also started the rabbit for easter but it was quite a lot so maybe next year we'll get it done <laughs> that's adorable susan says i can get these kits for my granddaughter she loves to work with them Myrna says, great tips thank you uh let's see uh so uh sonia 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 hello from sunny southern california surprised to catch hsn crafting live got lucky well i'm glad you're here thanks for joining us um oh Myrna says oh wow love it for christmas ornaments she thought that was a great idea terry said mm. i got these for my granddaughter for christmas and she loves them i also help her with one so much fun i agree um uh let me see make sure i got uh yeah perfect okay so i've got the comments there am i missing any let's see we want to say hey to Doris and Michelle and Gloria, all from our YouTube live. Donna, what number is the paste to use the extra crystals? Okay, so here's the number. It's called Crystal Art Magic Glue Set, and it's of two, so you must get two things of it, jars, I guess. The number is 833-705, 833-705. So trust me, in my head, I kept thinking how co cool would it be to take my leftover crystals and when I'm making cards, just use little dots of the glue and put crystals on the cards. Or if I have a butterfly stamp and I just want to freehand fill in the stamp, I mean, you can just go crazy. They also have a really cool stamp sets that are available that give you the right size circle so you know where to put the crystals. So if you want to do that, just go to hsn.com and just look up Crystal Art or look up Craft Buddy and you will see everything they have. Really clever home decor stuff. We're going to get to one of those later. So just a lot of different options for you uh, to work with and just fun for everybody. And I think that's what's so cool about this. I like the fact that I don't have to overthink it. And Sarah, when it's done, I was like, oh my gosh, I love my little heart. I'm going to put on my tennis basket. Like we get as excited about this as I would a really long, complicated card I'd make. 
I love that. And it's exactly, it, it, it um, really draws in, I think, all the magpies of us. I think crafters are magpies anyway. We're just drawn to shiny things. Yeah. Um, but it's that sense of achievement. And the keychains are perfect for that because we do have bigger projects. Now, yes. obviously, we've nearly finished the ones that we've been working on. You're looking at about... I would say 25 minutes, probably either side, you know, because you're not going to be sat there talking as much as I am. Um, but it's that sense of achievement as well. It's really nice and quick and easy. And it looks like something that's been shop bought. You know, you can see these kind of keychains and then you always get cards that have these dimensions to them and sparkles. They're always more expensive in the store. And now, of course, you can do it yourself. Um, yeah. Going back to the magic glue, what you will do is apply it to a surface just exactly the same with a paintbrush. So you'll put like a little dollop onto your project, spread it around over the area that you want to add that stick to. You can also just use your paintbrush to do tiny little dots. What it will do is go from a milky white to completely clear. In fact, I think the last time I was with you, Suzanne, uh, doing one of the Facebook Lives, we were using it with our stamps. So you'll be yes. able to go and find that tutorial. Um, it will go from white to completely clear, and then it will replicate this surface. So this will stay permanently sticky. So just like um, our viewer there was saying that they didn't get to finish their Easter bunny this year, you can put that kit away come to it next year the start of next year and that glue is still going to be sticky and ready for you to use so that's really handy as well so the magic glue is good for so many different things and now obviously hopefully um you've picked up how to use the crystal art sealer as well because that's going to give you that longevity so your magic glue is going to stay sticky but that does mean that things will move once you're using them if you want that longevity and really have those crystals cemented on you're going to use the sealer and you can see that that's already starting to dry clear it's quite warm in here under these lights another couple of hours you won't even know that's there but then you can rub your hands over them so many times on air i've even gone to push them and like i'll bend my nail before those crystals will move they will be on there for good so then things like your tennis bag suzanne when you're using it those crystals aren't going to go anywhere hey right, suzanne and right, sarah yes. I just want to throw in real quick, if you go on to Cricut Design Space and search Craft Buddy, there are some amazing creations. They've repurposed a lot of these kits, and they already have templates designed for you. You mean on Design Space? <gasps> on Design amazing. Space, yes. They do? Uh, How cool Users have done it. So they're posting... The, how to do the little circles and where to do them in different designs. They're, they're taking the different crystals and the different shapes and making new unique designs you can use with the glue oh my god that's so cool and that's in, it's, it's in cricket on design space yeah that's good to know you're gonna have to look that up sarah and find out what's the scoop is on oh that that's brilliant goodness. wow i'm gonna have so much fun with that. <laughs> well or you know what sarah you need to be kind of fun as so you guys did downloadables you know what i mean so we could download oh. all those designs to use all the extra and use that glue that would be really awesome Absolutely. And that's how the stamps came about because you've got so many leftover crystals on every single project. So that's every project, every color. I mean, imagine having leftovers of these, you know, you'd buy packs of these to add embellishments onto your cards and onto yep. your other crafting projects. We've got people embellishing photo frames, plant pots. There's so many things that you can do. Just make sure you use the right glue for it for whatever medium you're working with. Yep. They're then basically free. They're leftovers from your kits as well. Yeah, and so I love it because you, you guys go. are really super generous with it too, which is so awesome. Well, there's, there's nothing worse than if you spill a couple and you wouldn't be able to finish your project. You know, we, we want to make sure that you've got let's, uh, lots in there. And of course, then you've got that beautiful color palette to work with as well. Okay, so that's your keychains. Now, we've got another project to show you, which well, hang, hasn't and do been me, Do me a favor, yet. Sarah, hang on one second. Um, let me just go back yeah. over if you can do um, a shot of uh, overhead um, duet, if you don't mind. Um, just one more time, I'm gonna show you guys. So here's it is, this is the keychain kit. This it, call, it comes in one awesome box. You could give the whole thing away, or you could just give have the kids all do separate ones, have your friends like I'm gonna do. They can all pick their own. It's all in one box. The price is so good on this, it's only 20 
$24.95. We have three flex. It's the first time you've ever seen it. All the crystals, they give you all the hardware, and even the hardware is really good quality. Like, it's almost like jewelry quality. You get, obviously, all the designs. These are the quick and easy and fast ones, um, and I just, I think it's just absolutely such a great, great choice in the show tonight, especially if you're brand new and you don't know, you've never done it before, and you kind of want to dip your foot in before you take on a big, giant project. This is quick, easy, wow, and just so many things you can do with it, as, of course, Sarah mentioned. All right, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to let Sarah get ready with her section, and I'm going to show you guys on my camera the next one that she was talking about, and she's going to take over and show it to you, but look at this, guys. Hello! It's the Crystal Art Calendar, which is so neat. It's a perpetual calendar, but look how cool this is, and I know she's going to get into all the details, but since we have such a nice shot of it here, again, you're peeling this back. Every month it's going to be dazzling and fabulous which is so, sp they're just so clever of how they've done this. Look at that April, May, June, and then you have July, August, September. Look at all the fall tones in that one. Love, love, love this. And then look at this, a beautiful wreath with the snow for October, November, and December. Once again, you get everything you need to do. Get it. So you get all the stuff you need. So actually, you get two tools in this one. You always get your instructions, which are really easy and to understand, and oodles and oodles and oodles of these stunning crystals and embellishments to go with it. So, uh, again, Sarah, when this arrived, I was like, okay, are you kidding me? A calendar I can use forever and ever with all that just sparkle and happiness. It just, it makes you smile when you get done with these projects because everything looks so good. It really does, exactly. And you've got four beautiful crystal art oh, projects in wow. here, and they're big. So same concept as, of course, the keychains that we've just been looking at. You can see that you're going to embellish it with all those beautiful crystals. Not so much the background on some of them, but you've still got a lot to work with. Also, what's fantastic about this is that if you want to use it as your 2024 calendar, you'll notice that it is perpetual, so you haven't got any days against the dates. But if you want to use it this year and then not again next year, the artwork isn't interrupted top or bottom. So you could cut those up and then use that and maybe put them in a frame. Uh, maybe you want to use it as like a background for scrapbooking, something like that. You could do that too. So you could use it after you finish with the calendar. Or what we had in mind making it perpetual without the days on there is that this could be your special occasion calendar. So these are the birthdays, those reoccurring things that happen year after year, your anniversaries, your birthdays, special holidays, things like that. So you can see you've got that beautiful color palette. This is a slightly bigger one than the butterfly as well. Again, you can cut them up. It's going to be fantastic to work with and you don't have to sit down and do it all in one go. So we've also got three months to view in every single project as well, which for me is great because it acts as a little reminder of what's coming up in the coming months. So like the calendar we have at home for our family, you suddenly flip the page and all of a sudden you realize that that first week you've got three birthdays, you haven't looked at it before and then you're short on time. So the fact it's got three months I think is really fantastic because it's gonna keep you ahead and it's gonna remind you of the things coming up. And then of course it's gonna take you through the transition of the beautiful seasons as well. So you might wanna do it every three months. Maybe that's your little project that you're gonna start working on. Maybe you're just gonna sit down and do it all in one go. You can do that too. But you've got amazing color palette of crystals in here, beautiful designs. And then once you're finished with your calendar, obviously you can cut them up. You can use them as your artwork, or that's gonna be a special one that's gonna come out year after year as well. It's a great gift too. So like you said, everything is included in the sets. We always give you the tools, the trays. And if you get multiple kits, so maybe you bought, I'm trying to think of some of the pictures you've shown, the lovely um, customer who bought the cross, you get two trays in there. Maybe today you're going for the keychains, so you get another two trays in there. Then when you start working on bigger projects, you also get two trays in with your calendar. You could actually line up multiple colors and work on them all at the same time as well. So when I do things like my Facebook Lives, um, we've even had confession hours before. So I'm like, come on, tell me, how many trays have you got? How many pens have you got? <laughs> because you get them with every kit. 
So right. it will tell you how addicted our crystal art customers are, <laughs> which is really cool. But then it means you can work on multiple colors at one time as well. And it well, gives you know, that beautiful relaxation and you know what was kind of fun for me is when i was opening up the kits i kept thinking oh good if i have let's say um you know my friends and when we get together my girlfriends and i want them to do it they all have their own little trays now because now because i've gotten so Absolutely. many kits i'll be able to have a tray for everybody it's like like for the keychain yeah. kit like how do i share that one with everybody that's not going to work so well but when you get multiples obviously you're getting more goodies in this case as she mentioned you get two tools and two trays and double the size of the little wax and you get all the little bags of course with it as well and then once again oodles and oodles and oodles and oodles look at all this and you know what i really like is this is funny what i discovered is the discovery of all the shapes and colors that is like such a surprise because you think oh they're all just going to be these little ones and then you realize there are all these cool shapes and different colors and i thought that was a fun surprise for me when i started playing with it it's really nice and honestly we've spoken about the leftovers that's all going to go into your flat pack gem stock do you know what we also really love, and it was a wonderful customer who highlighted it to me, is that even if somebody is colorblind, they can still do crystal art because it's that template where you're marrying up your numbers and your colors, uh, sorry, numbers and letters. So you could still have the beautiful process of creating gorgeous art, maybe with something that's been a hindrance for you before, you still know that you're gonna get the perfect results every time because it's that guided art. It's gonna take you through all the step-by-steps, just like piecing together a puzzle, by the time you finish, and we can't very often say this with things that we show you on craft days and on air. We'll show you something and, you know, we said, um, you don't necessarily need to be creative. When you get this home and you make this, whether you have only started crafting today or you've been crafting for the last 90 years, your end result is going to be exactly the same as ours every single time. Because right. it doesn't so cool. matter the creativity, the skill set, how talented you are. It's yep. all about the process everybody can achieve it which i absolutely love and craft buddy do it so well with the kits because you get everything you need included and you know what i'm going to show you guys um i'm going to actually show you on our last projects we're about out of time this is what i was so impressed this is the project that i'm working on i'm doing one of the storage boxes so well wait could you come to me just on camera do it if you don't mind i just want you to look how big this calendar is okay my head's not that big but it's you know good size but i just want you to see it's not a little puny calendar so when you finish off the projects even if i were to cut this out and i want to frame it and use it as home decor or use it look how big i mean this is really huge even if you cut end up cutting off the calendar and just want to use the art itself that's like wow i mean that that would be beautiful up against you know a wall like under that light right there how pretty would that be framed under that light it'd be stunning right so just want to give you an idea that this is not a puny little calendar it's really quite large so it's really it has that wow factor that's what's what i love about crystal art everything is like oh my gosh it's so pretty when you get done with it all right so we're going to wrap up on this one but i'm going to show you a feature that i love on the next one um and this is what amazed me um so obviously I got my kits and I started playing with them. I did the um, keychain first. That was my first thing I did. And then I went after this one today. I started working on this one and I found it to be amazing. You see, I've already opened it up. This is going to be ultimately these. Now this is so cool. You get everything you need to make, for gosh sake, storage containers. And Sarah and I were talking off camera before we were getting ready and I said, Gosh, I love what Craft Buddy's doing. They're coming out with so many cool, usable, neat home decor items. And she said, oh yeah, there's more to come. But how <laughs> cool is this to be able to have something that's relatively boring, but very useful in our houses? You know, I have a ton of these kind of containers and now we're gonna really make them a beautiful piece of art, not just a handy thing to have around the house. What I'm gonna show you on this, and DeWitt, we're gonna to have to go to the extreme close up. And this is where I really started to understand how special this company is, is when I was doing the yellow, okay, this is what I was working on earlier. What I want you to see is the teeny little spots where they highlight things. So what happens is I started to appreciate how we are truly painting with the color. These little spots are such teeny little details, like that little line right there. It would have been so simple for them just to say, oh, do all the same color right in there. But they wanted to give it nuance. Now watch when I flip to this one. 
This is what I'm talking about. This nuance of playing with the color, of painting with these crystals. Look how amazing that is. See the color change? It's only one row different, but it makes a ton of difference in the finished look. It gives it dimensionality. It gives it just this amazing look to it. And I, I, I'm, I was so impressed with that, Sarah. I hadn't appreciated that from being on the air with you. I mean, I appreciate obviously the artwork itself, but I really didn't notice this intensity and authenticity to playing and painting with the color using the crystals. Absolutely. And you can learn from that as well. Going forward, maybe you've got stamps from other companies that are floral based. You can almost learn the highlights and where to pick up some of that tonal difference as well. So then you can go on and use some of those embellishments for other things. From far away, crystal art just looks like really nice artwork when it's hanging on your wall, whether it's going to be hanging off your bag, whether it's going to be a storage box you've maybe got in the wardrobe or in the trunk of the car, or maybe it's something that you've got out on display constantly. It's then when you start to move around them and they pick up those beautiful facets. So for it to look impressive, it has to look like nice artwork. It has to have that dimension to it. Things like the peonies. Now, I think this one sold out, and I'm sorry, because it's the only finished one I've got here. This is your peonies and butterflies. But you can see that all of that tonal difference, once you look away from them, just gives you the most beautiful finish. So from far away, it's gorgeous artwork. And the same for things like our canvases. We've got beautiful landscapes. We've got animals. You can even see the fine hairs and whiskers on things like cats' faces. But actually, whether you're gifting it or whether you're going to use it yourself, to then realize that all of those are individually stuck on crystals. And of course, you've got that beautiful process of doing it. Once you start working on them, it becomes really addictive. Now, the storage boxes are fantastic. You actually get a liner inside, which will give it rigidity and extra security and strength on that base. So it's going to give you that reinforcement. They also flat pack down as well. So lots of people use these to transfer their craft projects from one room to another. Maybe it's to store things that you're working on. Great for things like wool storage if you're doing crocheting or knitting. Once you then want to use it, you're just going to open that up, take that supportive layer, that reinforcement for the base, pop that in, and that's then going to hold its form. So you can also use them in the wardrobe. We know how expensive storage can be. Now you've got the bonus of being able to create it yourself. Now they're 30 by 30 centimeters. Sorry, I know you guys do inches, don't you? I don't know what that is. They are 16, uh, 16 by 11. Thank you. So then you've got that huge project oh, as well. Now wait, we wait, wait, I'm sorry, darling. Wait, hang on. I'm sorry, I screwed that up. They're 12 by 12, sorry, 12 by 12. 12 by 12, there we go. So same as your scrapbook pages. So it's a big project to be working on. I would say that this is a good few hours, but maybe that's gonna be your little nighttime project. If you're up in the middle of the night and you just need to switch off and you know still feel like you're being productive with your time as well, you can do that too. It's great to take to craft groups and things like that. Just little projects that you can just enjoy throughout maybe the space of a few evenings. Then you've got something functional. And this is what we love. So very often, if we're actually doing something that we find, well, I don't know about you, I'm speaking for myself here. If I find something that I really can lose myself in and I can relax with, actually it's so nice to know that it's for a purpose and a reason as well otherwise i feel a bit guilty so like in the evening you know you just want to switch off but you feel like you're not being productive crystal art is such a nice way to do that and then things like your calendar your keychains your storage the home deck uh, the home uh, keychain hanging sign that we had um it it then gives you a functional reason as well so i then think well it's nice for me to do because I've got that space in my home afterwards. I know exactly where I'm going to put it. So it also then encourages you to finish it as well. It's like my paint by number. Just looking at that, I've got my, my craft buddy paint by numbers uh, on my shelf behind me. I loved that because I knew exactly where it was going to go. I wanted to finish it. And the relaxation that I got from that is exactly the same as with our crystal art as well. And then of okay. course, to be able to have something like that in your home that you've created really gives you that beautiful sense of achievement as well, no matter your creative skill level.
Okay, so I got a whole bunch of comments I want to get to for sure. Okay, but let me give you this. Sure. Tip. On the perpetual calendar, it's twenty two ninety five and it's three flex of seven dollars and sixty five cents if you use your major credit card, pay it off in three months, but you get it right away. That's the calendar information. On these, we have three choices. Look at the rows. Hello, is that not? spectacular. So this is called um, the Ravishing Rose. Then we have the Tulips. That's the one I'm working on currently. And then we have a Tiger one. So you're going to have to go online to see the Tiger. Uh, one of the gals, which I'm going to read her comments, says she's working on it now and it's absolutely spectacular. I cannot get over these are 20 bucks. Twi I mean, wh what do you buy just to go get a dumb, dumb container that's halfway nice, you know, at a store? It's not going to be as nice as this. And now you're going to be able to do the crystal art and you're going to have a beautiful home decor piece. Oh, thank you. That tiger is amazing. Isn't it amazing? Unfortunately, yeah. I haven't got the finished piece, but this is the picture of that's the great. packaging. You wow. can see it's absolutely gorgeous. And um, so many people love these projects because they are predominantly the rhinestone crystals. So that's that silver backed with the transparent resin on top. So they are high, high shine. Sparkle. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to read a whole bunch of comments. So if you want to work on a keychain, you can or whatever you got there. But I wonder, I'm going to get to a Amazing. bunch of these because you guys are going crazy online. And I love getting in your comments because you guys make a big part of this. All right. Eileen said she made the nutcrackers while flying to Australia to visit her daughter. I thought that was really, really Really cool. Jennifer says, I have the Christmas sticker set that I used on my Christmas cards this past year. I love doing the stickers. They were all different shapes and sizes, perfect for cards. Elaine said, I've been working on the Tiger storage box. It's spectacular, which is great. Linda said, I've done the calendar and it's beautiful. Deborah has suggestions. She'd like for Christmas cards, you could design an ornament that you can slip a photo between the front and the back of the ornament, perhaps for a family or a pet photo. Suzanne, I'm laughing because when I am with you in July, your wish will come true. <laughs> oh, oh my God, that's great. <laughs> All right, Deborah, you got to keep checking HSN.com. That's awesome. Jane said she got the Nutcrackers last fall for her husband and he loved them, so her husband did it. I also bought the Halloween stamps in glue uh, with lots of crystals and the grandkids love them as magnets. Currently working on the Christmas cards from a previous show. Craft Buddy Crystal Art Kits are fun and beautiful. Um, Myrna says, thank you for the tip, it. I will give you some more information, guys, on how to find the Craft Buddy on Cricut in Design Space. You want to search Craft Buddy or Crystal Art. They're hard to find, but there are some great designs out there. So just dig around, everybody, and you'll find it hopefully on Design Space. Debbie said, I just ordered the keychain kit and the sealer. Great idea. Doris said, I just finished this and loved it. Linda, I've done the calendar. It came out beautiful. Carletta, oh, I have to order the calendar. Carol said, my granddaughter is doing the calendar. She loves them. Myrna said, beautiful calendar. Would frame all the artwork. Yep, that's what I was saying, too. I think it's a great idea. Jeannie said, love these. What are the circuit cr uh, design or the Cricut Design Space files listed as? And again, it's going to be Craft Buddy or Crystal Art. Art, so hopefully you will find them. Trust me, I'm going to go home and try to find them too. Heidi said, my daughter loves the calendar. She has put all birthdays, anniversaries, and special event dates on it. See, that's a great idea because it's perpetual if Lovely. you want it to be. Colleen says, love the calendar. Great idea. Linda says, I use my calendar for my family and church ladies' special days. That's great. Julie says, love it. Clarendon says, so beautiful. Kimberly said, you can cover the dates with acrylic or such and make them a dry erase calendar. Well, that's kind of a fun idea. You can laminate it too. You could actually laminate the bottom half of that calendar and then you could write on it. That would be a pretty good idea. Carletta said, hello, I forgot it's Tuesday. Well, Carletta, better late than never, honey bunny. Um, all right, I want to make sure. Kathy says, that looks really nice. I've never done this. Jennifer said, my niece had a stuffed fox when she was little and carried it everywhere. I think I'm going to get this calendar and make the fox and frame it for her room. Oh, I love that. Sue says, I love it. Elizabeth says, she loves it. Myrna says, just beautiful. Sue says, I love Craft Buddy. Debbie says, I agree about the detail. I have the same box. Haven't started it yet. Yeah, you'll be really so pleasantly surprised at how detailed these designs are. Uh, Marjorie says, hello. Uh, I'm going to say, Elizabeth says, Craft Buddy is like a relaxing therapy. It totally is. Janet says, please expa explain about the jelly wax again. I haven't started my kit yet. Thanks. Absolutely. So what the wax will do is make your pen sticky to pick up the crystals. Now, this is also really good. You know, if you're doing like paper piecing projects with your die cuts, 
it's also a great pickup tool for smaller pieces like that. So you have a hollow drum in the tip of the pen and you have a wider nib at the reverse. Now your gel block, it's not sticky to, to touch, which is why it's really quite impressive. It's not sticky at all, it's like a little wax. So the first time you use it, you're gonna just push your pen into the wax. That's then gonna make it sticky enough to pick up your crystals. So nice little light tap of your crystal and now you've got your pickup pen. On the reverse side, if you wiggle your tray and then I nudge them just to the end of that tray, if you have a little row with three crystals, you can actually then pick up three in one. So bigger projects like your calendar projects, uh, things like your storage box, that's gonna work perfect for that. Uh, now your gel, once you start to push down that gel into the pen, so that's gonna happen the more times you pick up, the more times you use your project. To reapply that gel, you're only going to need to, so you don't cut off a whole set every time. All we're gonna do is just scrape along the top and just reapply to the very tip of that pen. So you can see I've only taken off a very small amount and layer. Then you'll also see, and I'll see if I can get my pen to look at, the, um, my camera to look at this. There's a little bit of gel around the outside edges. And what that will do is actually, if I dip that into my tray, I'm probably gonna end up picking up two because the gel is going to be tacky. So what I do is I just take my finger and I'll just roll the very edge over my finger and that will take off any of that little excess piece. Now you can then actually keep that. So if you wanna be really frugal with your materials, pop that back onto the gel block, you'll be able to use that again as well. But this is the only tool you need for crystal art. And then that's gonna okay. be sticky enough to pick up those crystals, but the gel um, in the pen will pick it up, but the glue on the surface is stronger than the gel in the pen. So nice little gentle light taps, and that's gonna hold on to it, no problem. All right, Suzette said, I, I bought the home crystal art, went back and bought four more as Christmas gifts. Great idea. She also <laughs> said, I just love these. I finished the Easter wreath just in time for Easter. It came out beautiful. I will post a picture. Yes, Suzette, please post. That would be awesome. Yeah, I think I got pretty much uh, everybody covered on this one. And because we have uh, gone over time today, <laughs> uh, we are going to have to wrap it up. Um, but you know what, Sarah? I just... I love crystal art. I love the fact you join us. I can't wait to see what you're bringing us. Um, are you going to be here live on April 15th? I'm not going to be there next week, but we do have loads of products on the website. So you'll be able to good. take advantage of some really good sale and discount items that we've got. And then good. I will be with you in May. So I think that's the 13th of May uh, oh, that I will be there the for 15th you. 15th of um, April in my mind right now. <laughs> I haven't gotten there yet, but so May 13th, yeah, I'm back in studio. <laughs> Yeah, well, good, good, good. Yeah. And like she said, too, if you want to get the the um, glue, go online. We have that still available. And don't forget, too, the sealer. If you're going to really use things like this and pull them in and out and use them, because you should, you definitely want to grab the sealer, guys. And that item is online as well. So you can see it all there. Also, don't forget, go to the little scan code. If we pop it back up, we're good to go. Sarah, I'm going to let you go. Thank you. You were such a doll. And we love it. Even that wee early morning hours in England that you spend time with us. <laughs> I am off to bed. Thank you so much for having me. It was so nice to spend some time with you. Bye, honey. She's so adorable, Bye. isn't she? I know, I can't wait. All right, so really quickly, just so you'll know, next, uh, on April 15th, that is our next big event. It's 24 hours from six to nine. We're having an audience, and I'm so excited because some of you online are gonna be joining us live here. You're gonna meet them, I get to meet you all. I'm thrilled about that. Um, also, of course, that's a big 24-hour craft day. And then on Tuesday, the 16th, we will be back here. That is our next, right? That's our next Facebook Live. Uh, so we'll do the big craft day, and then we can all kibitz about it. The next evening. <laughs> All right. I know I've taken up your time. Real quick. I we are starting. What did I say at the start of the show? You loved me very much. Well, I mean, always. Oh, other than that. Yes, I said, but... where's Carletta? Carletta was late. I, I know. I know. I she said, came in later. I, I knew better, there was something up. I know. I said, better late than never. <laughs> Carletta, Carletta made it. She's in the house. All right, guys. I'm going to wrap it up. I love you all so much. Thank you, all my crafting cuties. To everybody who's brand new, I hope you enjoyed it. Again, 15th, mark it on your calendar. I'll start the day at midnight, three hours live with an audience, six to nine. And then I'll be back Tuesday, next Tuesday. And that's going to be at...
eight o'clock, yes, eight o'clock, uh, to do this again with some brand new items. So thank you, love you, bye.